Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. It's a very exciting time for me right now. I am flying to South America first thing in the morning and in today's video I am going to be showing you everything that I'm packing. Now this is probably going to be my most challenging packing yet. I am going to South America, more specifically Colombia and Ecuador for around four months and I have decided to do this trip hand luggage only. I'm normally someone who's not a minimalist. My previous backpack, which was amazing, was 85 litres. I had an 85 litre backpack and another day backpack. Whereas on this trip, I'm traveling with a 40 litre backpack, a bum bag, and nothing else. Everything's gonna be able to come and carry on with me, which I'm very excited about. But this is a massive challenge. For someone like me who is not a minimalist, I've had to massively rethink the entire way that I pack and I'm super excited to show you what I'm bringing. So how this is gonna work, first I'm gonna show you around my brand new backpack and why I chose it. Then I'm gonna be showing you what I'm packing and then I'm gonna be showing you how I'm packing those items into my new backpack. So without further ado, let's get started. I did a lot of research about what backpack I wanted to bring with me because especially since it's going to be the smallest backpack I've ever had. I needed this backpack to be perfect for me and fit the exact functions that are necessary for me and my trip. And honestly, I think I found the most perfect backpack. This is the Eagle Creek Global Companion 40 litres. This style of backpack also comes in a 65 litres, but the 40 litres is the one that is small enough to fit into hand luggage with me and is within like all airline restrictions. Now the main reason I have chosen this backpack let me show you, is because it opens out like a suitcase. Not just the one compartment which you open, two compartments which have two mesh zip openings which keep everything organized. Honestly, when I first saw this feature, I was like, that is the backpack that I need in my life. For full transparency, Eagle Creek did gift me this backpack. I was the one who reached out to them because I discovered this backpack through a friend. And when she said it was from Eagle Creek, I just knew I had to get in touch. And they very kindly gave me the backpack that I wanted. So anyway, moving on with this bag. Let's zip this main section up for now. On the bottom here, you have a completely separate shoe compartment. So I will be sticking my shoes in there. It doesn't dirty up anything else in the backpack. Right, right, right at the bottom here, there's a Velcro and I won't get it out right now, but this gray thing, this is a waterproof cover that covers the entire backpack when it rains. This is an essential thing you're gonna want on your backpack for your travels if you get caught out in the rain so your stuff doesn't end up getting wet. This is what the back looks like. So we've got two padded straps and then we've got the waist belt as well. And we do have another little zipper on the waist belt for accessible things when you're wearing the bag. And then on the top here, on the side closest to your back, we have a laptop sleeve. It also allows you direct accessibility into the main section of the bag if you need anything super accessible there. Turning it back around, you can see on the top here that the zips close up together and you can use a padlock to lock them all together in with here to keep your bag extra safe. We have a zip right on the top here just for other handy accessible things. I'm actually keeping my padlocks in this compartment, as well as I'll be putting some other things in there as well. We have two drink holders in the front, or you can put whatever you want in there, but I believe it's kind of designed for a water bottle. And then we have two pockets, which are quite flat, but within these pockets, it has lots of other pockets. So it's just so functional for you just to put whatever you want in these pockets. And then finally, last but not least, we have a mesh pocket. I don't know if you can see, right in the front here. So if you have something that's a bit wet, you don't want to put it inside the bag, you can stick it here and it has a bit of room to dry out. So I think this is where I'm gonna place my raincoat. We have a handle on the top, we have a handle on the side. We also have these compression straps which you can clip up and make the bag as small as possible. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my new backpack. I'm sure you can already see why I chose this one. It's just perfect. The word is perfect, that's what it is. And if you're wondering, this does come in a few different colours as well. I believe this kind of purple one that I went for is called the colour Concord, um, but yeah, it comes in a few different colours as well. So now let's take you through what I'm packing inside and as usual, let's start with my clothes. This is my smallest packing cube and here we have my pants and my socks. I've decided to bring 10 pairs of pants and four pairs of socks. Now there's one pair of pants in particular that I want to talk to you about which are new. I have a pair of period pants. So the guys at Lilova asked if I wanted to try some of their period pants. And I said to them, oh, I don't really wear pants, I wear thongs. And it turns out they have a period proof thong. And this is what it looks like. 
It's very nice. Who knew that period proof underwear could actually look nice? And it's a really sustainable way of dealing with your period when you're traveling, essentially. Because they're completely reusable. You just rinse them and chuck them in the wash. The regular period proof pants can hold up to two tampons worth. The thong holds up to half a tampons worth. But I thought, do you know what? That's actually really good because I'm using a menstrual cup for the first time on this trip, which I'll talk to you more about later. But at the moment, the menstrual cup is still not 100% foolproof for me. So these are gonna be perfect when I'm on my period as a backup essentially so I can go throughout my day and not worry that I'm gonna have a period leakage. So yes, thank you Lilova for these. I'm really glad to have them in my backpack and I've linked their website down in the description if you want to check out some of their products. Moving swiftly on to tops. This is my packing cube that I'm going to be using for my tops. It's one of the Ultralight Eagle Creek packing cubes and in here I am taking two tank tops, my pink one and my green one, both from Urban Outfitters. Three of my solo crop tops, so I'm bringing the grey, the pink and the black from backpackingsolo.shop, the world's softest crop tops in the land. Two strappy crop tops. So I've got this casual black one and then I've got this white lacy crochet one, which is like my fancy top. I'll be wearing this for like nicer nights out. I'm bringing my super cropped pink tank top from Pretty Little Thing. I'm bringing just one t-shirt because I'm less likely to wear a t-shirt, but I still want to have one. So I'm bringing the burgundy and white one from my range at backpackingsolo.shop because the color is really hard to get dirty and it also doesn't crease and it's really good quality. And it's made from regenerated pre consumer cotton waste so it's sustainable as well. I'm bringing one like thermal long sleeve top and I'm bringing this one from Gymshark which is cropped but it's like a long crop and I'm not actually packing this because I'm going to be wearing it on the plane but this is basically just for when it's cold. I imagine for the most part in Colombia and Ecuador, it's gonna be pretty warm. So I won't need this most of the time, but there will probably be some hikes that I'll be going on up in the mountains where I probably will be very glad for this. And finally in the tops packing cube, we have my pajama top. Now this one I actually got for a freebie at World Travel Market from the Sharjah stand. And the reason I've gone for it is because it's an XXXL. So it's very, very big on me. And it actually kind of acts as a nighty. Cause I don't really like to wear bottoms when I sleep. But when I'm in a dorm room, I don't really want to be walking around at night just in my pants. So this is a really nice compromise because it's a nice soft light t-shirt that covers my bum, essentially. Now I have a new packing technique which I don't exactly like doing, but it is gonna reduce my clothes to a much smaller size. And that is to roll them. So I fold them up and then I squeeze them into a nice tight roll. So it ends up looking like this, and then I stash them into the packing cube like that. And that's what it looks like. Next, we have a slightly bigger packing cube, also from Eagle Creek. And in this, I plan to put Shorts, trousers, play suits, and jumpsuits. I know that sounds a lot, but it's actually not too much. So firstly for shorts, I have one pair of beat shorts. I've decided to go with my blue and white stripy ones from O'Neill. We have my classic party shorts, basically just shorts that I really like to wear on a night out. I think they're fun and they just look nice for a slightly smarter occasion. And we have some running shorts. These pack up super tiny. I have these ones from Gymshark, which I've had for a while. I like them because they have pockets and they're just easy. I can wear these if I do any exercise or if I go on a hike or I'm just doing something quite active these are fantastic as for trousers currently I'm just bringing one pair and that's gonna be my white palm Jesus pants from rip curl which you guys have seen before and then moving on to play suits I am bringing my blue black and white one from City Beach which I'm in love with you guys have probably seen this one so much because I just wear it all the time when I'm traveling I am bringing my white floaty kind of beachy one from Billabong because this is just easy to chuck on the top of anything and I'm also going to be bringing this plain black one from H&M which again is just so easy to wear on any occasion you can take it from the day into the night it's just easy and finally I am bringing my first ever jumpsuit that I've ever owned I got this one from Urban Outfitters and I like it because it's really 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 comfy it's lightweight it's versatile it can take me from the day into the evening and I just think it's an all-round good piece of travel clothing really I thought that from when I bought it and 
there we go. This is the bottoms packing cube with play suits and jumpsuits and shorts. And um, what you may notice is that it's not very full. I could actually fit quite a lot of stuff more in here. And the reason for that, the reason why I'm leaving some space is that I have a few certain solo items on the way, which we are still in the production phase. I really wanted to be able to show you some of the exclusive new items today, but they've been taken back to the studio in order to continue with production. But yes, just letting you know that at some point on my trip, there will be more things in this packing cube. Next up we have this packing cube right here, which is going to be for swimwear and bras. Now, if you've seen my last packing video, this is downsizing massively from what I brought on the last trip, but I think I've made some good decisions about what I want to bring. So as for swimwear, I'm bringing three bikini tops, this peach one with thin straps from Zara, this bright blue one, which I recently got from Gymshark, which is a really good sporty one, and one that you've probably seen me wear a million times before. It's this triangle multicolored bikini from Tiger Lily. And I like it because despite the fact that it's triangle shaped, it keeps my girls intact really, really well. I'm not gonna be spilling out of this bikini. And the reason I went with three different styles of bikini tops is so I don't get the same tan line. I can kind of allow my tan lines to even out nicely. And to pair with those tops, I'm bringing two bikini bottoms. Both of them are black. Both of them are also from ASOS. One of them is high-waisted and a nice high coverage on the front, but has like a little cheeky bottom, so it's still really flattering on the back. And the other one is less coverage. They're still high-waisted, but it shows a bit more skin, so you can just allow for a better tan, to be honest. And then I'm bringing one swimming costume. You may have seen me wear this one before. It's from Rip Curl, and the great thing about this is it's reversible, so it's two for the price of one. And then as for bras, I don't wear proper bras. I just wear kind of like sporty crop top bralettes because I find them so much comfier and they pack up a lot smaller as well. So I have three of these bralettes from Gymshark. I have a black one, a light pink one, and a like pastel blue one. And then I have a slightly more sporty shaped one also from Gymshark that is lilac and it looks like this. I've had it for ages, but it's so comfy. And actually I think I'm gonna wear this one on the plane so I don't have to pack this one. I've got this light pink bralette from Urban Outfitters, which is super comfy and I can wear it under everything. And finally, I'm bringing one high impact sports bra. This one is from Shock Absorber. This is just for if I do any like proper exercise and I just need to keep my girls properly intact. I don't run, but maybe if I'm doing something that's similar to running or bouncing around, I'm gonna need something like this. But what's great is that it also packs up really, really small. I'm gonna stick this sports bra in with my bottoms packing cube because I think I've filled this one to the absolute brim and I don't think it's gonna squeeze it. Okie dokie, sports bra's got in there and in here we have all of my bras and all of my swimwear. Oh my goodness, it's so small. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all of my main clothes that I'm packing. So I've decided that on the left-hand side here is where I'm gonna be putting my clothes. So those three white packing cubes fit up really nicely in there. So for now, I'm just gonna pack that away. The underwear is gonna be going on the other side as well as everything else that I'm packing. So let's move on to the next things that are gonna be going on this right-hand side. I feel like I should tell you before we move on, the other warm layers that I'm bringing that I'm not packing right now because I'm gonna be wearing them on the plane. But to keep you warm, as well as that pink top, I have this white hoodie. This is gonna be my main jumper jacket for the trip. It's cropped, it's zip up. I got it from ASOS, but it's a Puma hoodie and I love it, it's just super cozy. And I know what you're thinking, Christiane, white, that is not a practical color to travel with. And well, no comment. <gasps> I wanted it, so I'm bringing it and if it gets very dirty, well, we'll deal with that situation when it comes. But you can't argue with me about the hoodie. This is my decision. This is what I want to bring. I am bringing this thin down jacket. This one is amazing quality. It's from Kathmandu. My auntie got it for me, actually. It's just such a good insulating layer. It's going to be perfect for those nights where maybe I am hiking on a mountain and it is particularly cold. But it packs up so small. And to help me pack it up, even smaller than it already does, I have a compression sack. Now I'm not gonna show you the coat and the compression sack right now, because it's quite late and we've gotta get on with the packing, but just know that this can get pretty flat and small in here, and pretty stoked at that setup. So basically I'm just gonna be packing this compression bag 
into this bag so that when I'm traveling around Colombia and I'm not wearing my Kathmandu jacket, that can be inside my backpack. I'm bringing two different towels on this trip. A beach towel and I'm bringing this one. I really, really wanted to bring my tessellate towel because I love my tessellate towel. But unfortunately with the 40 litres that one is just too big. This one though, however, is a good compromise. It is huge. It's from a company, I think it's called Dock and Bay. It's basically just really thin beach towels which are very quick drying, very absorbent, but you can fold them up really small. I could have just gone with a sarong, but I really don't like laying on sarongs on a sandy beach. I just don't. This is a slice of luxury. And my other slice of luxury is my other towel that I'm bringing. I am bringing the Solo Travel Bath Towel. This is one of the ones from my range at backpackingsolo.shop. It's a microfiber towel, so it folds up really small, but it's really soft and fluffy. But the best bit is that it has an elastic fastening. So you can do it up, you can wave your arm up in the air, you can go shimmying into your dorm room, and your towel's not gonna fall down. It's just just lovely. Moving on to toiletries. Now this is my main toiletries bag. It's just this see-through bag that I've had it for so long, but I probably got it from Boots or Superdrug or something. I really like the see-through ones. One, because they're like fully waterproof and easy to clean, but two, you can see exactly where things are in your bag. We have my toothbrush. I have a little bamboo toothbrush, which I keep in this toothbrush holder. We've got toothpaste. I made sure I got one that was under 100 ml, so this one is 75 milliliters. We have my shampoo and conditioner bars. This is going to be my first time traveling with a bar version of these items, which I'm very excited about because it's no liquids and these should actually last me the entirety of my trip. So I'm very excited about that. And I mean, look how small they are. What? A revelation. I have the Lush Honey I Washed My Hair shampoo and then I have the Guardian conditioner bar from Ethique. I'll link a video up here which is like my review of all of these products. And then I also have in bar form my soap, like my soap to wash my body in the shower. Um, I literally just picked up this one from Sainsbury's and I stick it in a box that I found in boots or super drug or something. I just went for one that I thought smelt nice, but again, it's not a liquid and it should have lasted me a really long time. Now, when I said I was getting these items, a lot of people expressed their concern about being able to dry these items. So what I've bought is what's called a soap saver. It's made of vinyl and it's basically something I can put my shampoo and conditioner on to dry before putting it back in the tin and it's not gonna get anything else gooey or mucky. So that's coming with me in the toiletries bag and that is what I hope is gonna combat that problem. I have my face fake tan. I've been using this stuff for years and I swear by it. It's Garnier Ombre Solaire Natural Bronzer Self Tan Mist. I really need to put some on now to be honest. My body tans quite well but my face really doesn't at all and to be honest I don't really like it too because I want to look after my skin and this stuff it just makes my it just brings life into my face. It stops me looking so pale and ill and I actually feel like it evens out my skin as well. I feel so much more confident not wearing makeup when I have this stuff on. Honestly, I swear by it, I highly recommend it. As for deodorant, I have the Mitchum Triple Odor Defense. I've gone for one of these like Prit Stick ones because again, it's not a liquid. I don't have to put it in the liquids bag through security. Plus, I just love the brand Mitchum in terms of making sure I don't sweat. I find that brands like Dove and Shaw just don't really work that well for me, but this one does. I have some hair serum. I just got the L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Oil in the little bottle, but this normally lasts me a really, really long time. I've dispensed my face wash into this tiny little tube that I got from Muji. I don't use very much of this at all, and obviously I'm not gonna be wearing makeup very much on my trip, and so, I think I'll go through this very, very slowly. So this should be fine, but we'll see how we go. As for moisturizer, I've gone for something a little bit different. And that is this simple squeezy tube. It's 50 milliliters, which is probably more than enough for me over three or four months. I only use a tiny amount of moisturizer. But what really appealed to me about this is the more I use it, the smaller and flatter it's gonna be, which is great. We have my razor, of course, which I keep in this little carry case. And then I'm bringing a spare blade as well. And the final few things that I'm squeezing into this transparent bag are my tweezers 
and some nail clippers. I'm making sure that I don't bring mini nail scissors because I don't want them to get taken off me at security because obviously all of this is coming in my hand luggage. Although most of the time I won't be wearing makeup, I am still bringing a bit of makeup so that if I want to kind of make myself up for a night out or for whatever reason, I've got some makeup. So as my foundation, I'm bringing this BB cream from Garnier. This is something I've used a million times before. I like it. I've got some concealer from Rimmel. I've got a mini mascara from Benefit. I've got some lipstick or it's more like lip stain. This stuff is amazing. It's Meet Matte Hues. So, so good. And that's just if I want to give my lips some colour. And finally in the clear bag, I'm just putting some nail polish. I like to have my toenails painted at all times. So I've gone with this really nice um, kind of blue ocean teal colour uh, from Barry M, which I really, really like. All of that's fit nicely into here. Now moving on to what is normally my first aid bag, but I'm not actually bringing a first aid bag this time because I'm just going to dispense all of these items around my backpack, but I think mostly in those front pockets that I showed you, so they're nice and accessible, and it doesn't need to be separated into a bag. So in here we have some more makeup, we have a mini bronzer from Benefit, and I'm also bringing my mini highlighter also from Benefit. I've got some anti-sand bite and sting cream, so if I do get bitten by the mozzies, this is hopefully gonna make me itch a bit less. I'm bringing a tiny little sun cream, it's just a 30. This is mainly just for like my first couple of days and my over in Miami. I plan on buying a big bottle of sun cream when I arrive in Colombia because I'm definitely going to need that but this is just something to get me started. Oh yeah and I'm also going to be buying bug spray in Colombia because that's also something that I want to have a fairly sizable bottle for but obviously I can't bring that on the plate. We have all of my drugs. So I like to carry on me all times some anti-diarrhea tablets or Imodium. God forbid, let's hope I don't get the shits but if I do this will sort me out. Day nurse and night nurse, in my opinion, the best medication for cold and flu. It sorts me right out. Double strength ibuprofen. This is amazing because it's basically like two for the price of one. You don't have to take two tablets every single time you take ibuprofen, just one. And there's a bunch in there. One a day hay fever tablets. My hay fever is very on and off. So these are for just in case. A heck of a lot of diarrhea sachets. I absolutely love this stuff. It's perfect for if you've been a bit sick or if you've had diarrhea. It like replenishes the salts in your body. It really helps to hydrate you. It's also really, really good if you're hungover. It makes you feel a lot better. I have a stash of various different waterproof plasters. If I get a cut or whatever, I also have a stash of blister plasters. Should I get a blister? I have a stash of condoms because sexual health is just as important as any other health. I have my menstrual cup the first time that I'm taking this on a backpacking trip. If you're wondering, I have the Diva cup and I also have a little tube of cleanser. It's an intimate hygiene cleanser. So basically it's just not got any harmful chemicals in it and it's good to clean the menstrual cup. And finally, loose in the bag. This is not related to toiletries whatsoever. I have a card wallet and this is for basically just like all of my extra cards because with me and my bum bag, I'm just gonna have the cards that I mainly use, but I have a few cards in here which are like backup. Let's say another card is lost or stolen. I've essentially got like my backup bank account cards here so that I'm always able to get out money. I'm also keeping in here um, my emergency first response card, my Paddy rescue diver card if I do any diving, and my Paddy free diver card, which I'm very proud of. Moving on to electricals. Now, being a travel vlogger, I probably have more electricals than the typical backpacker, but that's okay. I'm still gonna show you what I'm packing. So firstly, we have my multi-plug. This is a new one that I recently got off Amazon, and I got this new one one, because of the shape. It's very flat and much easier to pack, but two, it's 100 grams lighter than my other one, and obviously I wanna keep my backpack as light as possible, so that's something I'm favoring. This one has three UK plugs and then three USBs, which is just perfect for me. The lead is two meters long, and then I just have one adapter, which will go into here, this goes into the wall, and I can charge all of my things off one plug, happy days. I know this is a fairly big item, but honestly, it's just absolutely essential when I travel, it's so handy in hostels. Now, normally I put my electricals kind of loose in a packing cube, but I saw this bag on, I think it was Amazon, and I just really, really liked it, and I thought it would be perfect. So it basically looks like this on the inside. Obviously, I've already got a few of my things in here. I'm bringing my Zoom H1 microphone. In a couple of these pockets, we've got spare SD cards and micro SD cards. We've got a cleansing cloth for the lens of my camera. And this is a two terabyte hard drive. So I've actually bought a solid state drive, which is gonna be like my current hard drive that I do all of my work 
off of. But this is just gonna be like my backup because I've learned the hard way how important it is to always back up your files. So this bag, as you can see here, is designed to carry just like all of my cables and chargers and all of my leads. So my laptop charger is gonna be folded up and put in there. I'm gonna have my Lumix GH5 charger in there. I've got my GoPro charger. I've got the leads for my hard drive. I also have a dive housing for my new GoPro Hero 8 for when I go scuba diving which can go in there. I have a sticky mount for the GoPro. I have my Lavelier microphone, which needs to go in this little bag. This is the Rode Smart Love Plus. That just goes in there as well. I've got my headphones for my laptop and I am of course bringing my Lumix GH5. I'm actually gonna be bringing the one that I'm filming on this is my spare one, which is staying at home. If you watched one of the previous vlogs, you will know the update that I've got this GoPro Hero 8, which is gonna be my main vlogging camera when I'm backpacking. This is gonna be in my bum bag, but I am still bringing the Lumix GH5, which will be in my main bag. It's just gonna be loose in my main bag, but I'm gonna be using it for when I want to make more professional looking vlogs. But obviously I'm wanting to be very careful with my Lumix GH5 because it's gonna draw a lot more attention, which is something that I don't really want in the bigger cities in Colombia. So I'll be getting the Lumix GH5 more so when I'm kind of out in the country. We just have a couple of items left, I promise, and then we'll be packing it in the bag. So we've got my raincoat, essential. I've just got this massive turquoise one because it just goes over everything and keeps me dry. We have my tiny little laundry bag. Not so tiny when you open it up, but it's good just to have a foldable bag which I can put all of my dirty washing in. I have the floaty stick for my GoPro. I love the shorty stick that it's on right now, but when I'm diving in water, it's crucial that I have my floaty stick just in case I drop it. I I don't want it sinking to the bottom. We have my water bottle. It took a lot of consideration before coming to uh, this decision. I've got the Grail Geopress, which is a water purifying and filtering water bottle. It was not cheap, but it definitely seemed like the best of all the options. I'm really excited to use this. It basically means that I can fill up from a stream, a river, the tap, and this is gonna filter out all of the viruses, impurities, bacteria. It's gonna filter it all out, which is good because I do not want to be buying any bottled water whilst I'm away. I just really wanna move away from doing that. I have this, which you may wonder what it is. It is a foldable day bag, because obviously if there's times where, I don't know, I wanna go on a day trip somewhere and I wanna bring my towel, I wanna bring my raincoat, and my bum bag just doesn't quite cut it and I don't wanna bring my entire 40 litre backpack, this thing folds out. There we go, da -da. I can fit my laptop in here, I can fit my electricals bag in here, I can fit my towel in here. It's actually, it fits in a surprising amount for how small it looks and it's just nice that it folds away very nicely into my big bag, don't need to worry about it. If you're wondering where I got this one from, I'm really sorry, I'm not too sure. I think I got it as a freebie one time, I think. And there we go, back together again. And finally, finally, we have my Birkenstock sandals. These are the sandals that I'm gonna be bringing with me. I just have a shower cap wrapped around them at the moment because I found that that's a really nice way to pack shoes and make sure they don't get the rest of your stuff dirty. Uh, and as for closed-toed shoes, I have the North Face, I think they're called Women's Fast Venture Lace. I'll have them linked down below, but they're basically hiking trainers. They have Gore-Tex technology, they have really good hiking capabilities, but they just look like regular trainers and they're just good for everyday on the move. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I'm so pleased that I have them. I'm gonna be wearing these on the plane. And that is it guys. So now let me show you how I'm packing all of this into the backpack. Okay, this is the side that you've seen me put some of my clothes in already. And I'm actually gonna take this out and I'll show you why. Because I want to put my towels. I think I'm gonna put the this one this, this way. And this one this way. So my towels on the bottom and then my clothes on the top. And then on this side, we're gonna start with my compression bag, I guess. So that's what my, my down coat is gonna go in here usually, and that's gonna sit on the bottom of this side. Then I reckon let's go for the electronics cube, as well as this bag. And then we've got the foldable day bag in here. We've got my laundry bag. Oh, my toilet shoes bag, how can I forget that? Let's put that, or oh, maybe my toilet shoes bag should go at the bottom because that's the heaviest. I could put my electronics cube here, foldable backpack here. We've got 
my little GoPro floaty handler. Oh, I'm putting this on the outside. Ah, I think that's literally it. Um, now that's pretty empty, but actually that's a really good thing because I'm gonna close this now. And because that inside is quite empty, it means we have a nice amount of comfortable room for my Birkenstock shoes, which are going in the shoe compartment. Ready? And then we're gonna be putting my first 80 bits in all of here. So this could take me a while, but we'll start off with my little cards department, which I was just gonna clip onto the side of here. Many, many diorolite sachets, which are gonna just kind of gonna go here, there and everywhere. Oh, guys, I forgot my underwear. Pause, pause, pause. All right, underwear's just going in here. Luckily, I've got room for it. All right, carry on, resume. All right, guys, I'm gonna carry on doing this. I'm gonna stop the film and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to you when I've done putting all of these in here. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the finished product. So I popped my raincoat in this front mesh pocket here. We've got my Grail water bottle on the side here. I put all of those first AD and like extra bits uh, in these pockets and also in this pocket over the top. Also in this pocket over the top, I've got my padlocks, which I think I've already shown you. Um, and then what I can also stick in the back here, so the very top is my laptop, because I haven't done that yet. So that just slides in nicely. And that is literally everything. I also popped in here because I forgot to show you me doing it, um, my Lumix GH5. But the thing is I'm filming on the one that I'm taking so I've just put my spare one in here just for the purpose of making sure that everything will fit when I leave. Are we ready to see the final setup? So, here's my bum bag. I'll link up here uh, what I normally pack in this bag. I have bought an extra portable charger, which I've also stuck in here as well. But my passport's in here, my phone's in here, my purse is in here, my metal straw, all good things like that. Oh, and my GoPro Hero 8. I keep wanting to say Hero 5. The moment of truth, we've got a backpack. Oh, I think I'm going to need to tighten it up a bit actually because I think I, I loosened it up the other day. First of all, tighten it up around the hips and then you tighten it up here and then you tighten it up lastly here. Oh, lovely. Oh, it fits beautifully. As you can see, I've just stuck my, uh, my pillow on the end as well. I feel like I just keep adding things to the list and I just say to you, oh, by the way, and this, and this, and this, and this. Um, oh yeah, because also, and this, this is my eye mask as well, which I'm also bringing. But this is it. Here we go, bum bag's on the front, it's ready. And that's, oh, can you believe that this is all I'm bringing for four months? Because I can't. Now I'm making a couple of changes to this for my setup for actually flying because um, that foldable backpack that I showed you, basically I want to put my laptop in there and my electricals just so they're more accessible for me. So I can work on my laptop when I'm on the plane and it's just much, much easier. So I'm kind of going to be doing a little bit of repacking right now before tomorrow. I'm going to vlog that in another video. All you guys need to know is that this and this is everything that I am bringing with me for four months to South America, Colombia and Ecuador. And I am buzzing. I finally feel ready, guys. For the past few weeks, I felt very nervous, felt like oh, I've got so much to do, I've got so much to do. But the way I've been combating it is just literally making lists, ticking things off the list. If I think of something new, I add it to the list. And it just really helps to sort my brain out. And on the evening of my trip, I finally feel ready and I feel so good about this packing. Yeah. Thank you so much if you've made it to the end. Please subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with my South America adventures and follow me on Instagram if you would like to keep up in real time on Instagram stories uh, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.